name is Derek Gosen. I'm captain at Red, White and Blue Fire Rescue in Breckenridge, Colorado. Uh, we're doing our final inspection on our brand new Engine 7, which will ser serve the Blue River area south of Breckenridge. We're about 70 miles west of Denver in a resort community. Lots of snow and lots of big challenges. We have to run four-wheel drive apparatus and we're excited about uh, trying out this new Easy Track. Uh, four-wheel or all-wheel drive chassis as opposed to our four-wheel drive traditional apparatus so we can get the cabs a little bit lower and get better ergonomics for our folks safer working conditions out there. The overhaul cab ride height on this rig, our four-wheel drives, the bottom of their cabs sit above this white stripe. So these steps are much higher off the ground. It's more difficult to get in and out of our four-wheel drives and so I could already tell that the easy allowing us to have better ergonomics. If folks fall out of our rigs, which happens from time to time, they're not taking as big of a ride to the ground as our four-wheel drives. And then another big advantage is we have a much larger cab interior. We were able to raise the front part of the cab six inches over our other four-wheel drive sister rigs to this. We elected for the Emax pump as opposed to a traditional hail that we would typically run. Um, the biggest advantage with that is it gets our crosslays down here. A lot of our four-wheel drive crosslays are gonna be up by this door and it allows us to buy, buys us another foot of compartment space on this side and the other side, which gives us a lot more compartmentation. Um, we're full Firebase DMS, full um, full service department, so we have to carry hazmat stuff, we have to carry tech rescue stuff, full ALS um, EMS complement, along with all the fire and extrication equipment, um, ice rescue, swift water rescue, um, all that stuff is going to live on one vehicle. So we ask a lot of our vehicles. We have to keep our apparatus short, uh, like 30 feet is as long as we can go because of our small stations. So we can't have a big bumper and put a put a booster uh, trash line on our front bumper. We found this little one inch booster to be a great, uh, easy to clean up and then multi-versatile in the wildland arena as opposed to a bumper line. We also have two 200 foot cross lays of inch and three quarter key hose. So if we need bigger water, that's real easy to deploy. We carry 750 gallons of water on this engine and it's pretty impressive how E1 was able to give us all the compartment space that we have on this rig plus 750 gallons with 25 gallons of foam on top of that. We have kind of a unique EMS compartment in our rigs that we employed on the last build. Um, the back steppers love it. Uh, instead of having a traditional compartment up against the back wall, we laid that compartment down flat. So we'll put our, our EMS bag, our O2 bag, and our PD bag on the bottom. That next shelf is for some other gear, uh, EMS-wise, uh, PR-wise, things like that. That flat deck right there, man, you could mount whatever you want. We put our monitor up there, flashlight, radios, cup holders, uh, suction unit, um, the NARCS vault. Uh, and then up against the back part of the cab here, we went with a track system so we can mount whatever kind of uh, equipment we need to on that back wall, um, maybe firefighter helmets, things like that. I love working with E1. They, they seem to go um, beyond when uh, we have a little detail here or there that we missed or someone missed. They always feel confident they're, they're gonna take care of us. And, and uh, at the end of the day, this is all about the right product for our citizens and being as frugal as we can with our taxpayer dollars, getting the most bang for the buck. And you know, speaking on behalf of my executive ch staff and my fire chief, we definitely feel like we're getting that value um, out of E1.